In this quick video, I'm going to show you how to use Sidecar on the new Mac OS Catalina and iPad OS. First, you're going to want to choose the AirPlay button at the top. Then, you're going to want to find your iPad and select that. And that's it. Your iPad is now a second screen to your Mac. Now let's open up an app to see how fast this actually is. So we opened up the music app and just like that, I was able to drag it over to the iPad and maximize it. As you can see, the scrolling is super smooth, which is really surprising considering this is a new functionality and only beta one. Now let's take a closer look at the iPad user interface. On the left side, you have the sidebar and on the bottom, you have the touch bar. So on the left, you can choose a couple of different options. You can choose to move the dock onto this screen. You can choose undo, choose keyboard, and you can also um, choose to disconnect. On the bottom, you have your basic touch bar functionality, which is really neat. If you'd like to hide either the sidebar or the touch bar, you can do so in the sidecar preferences on the Mac. You can also choose to disconnect from this preferences panel as well. Now let's take a closer look at the really cool pencil uh, functionality with iPadOS. So with this, you can use the pencil to act as your cursor. So you can, as you can see here, I'm moving around the window. It's really smooth. I can choose to play, pause using the touch bar on the bottom of the screen. I can also choose to drag and drop things. Now this is beta one. So as you can see, um, there are a little bit of hiccups with the cursor not being exactly where the pointer is on the pencil, but I think that this overall has very low latency and that it's probably going to be improved in later betas and by the time that it's actually out for everybody. Considering this is beta 1, this is super impressive. Um, I've used Duet Display before and honestly this kind of blows that away because this is native functionality between the Mac OS and the iPad OS, so yeah, it's really cool. So that was a quick video on how Sidecar works. Overall, it is works really well and I'm really excited to use this in future apps. So now let's go ahead and disconnect Sidecar. So all you do is go back to the AirPlay button, choose disconnect, and that's really it.